Hello. I thought I would share my perspective of permaculture in northern Finland. Uh, we are just around polar circle and I have been watching videos about spring planting and that kind of stuff from YouTube and I'm a little bit envious. So first this is my experiment indoors uh, about microgreens. There is kale, more kale and some Asian greens. I have no idea what I'm doing. Like I said, that this is an experiment. And here we have this thing called Pogashi. This is composting method. I have no idea if there is any English word for that. But this is composting nevertheless. And this is Möttönen. She's very nice cat. One of my absolute favorites. So let's step outside and let's see. It is now March 20th here. And look at this. What a nice view. All the people are doing their spring planting. They are at least one of those guys I, I, am, I have been watching. Uh, Jack Spirko and another one, Plant Appundance. Uh, they have already started to grow <laughs> something. And here in Finland, we have around one meter of snow. I don't know how much that is, around three or four, four feet. Uh, we still get night temperatures around. Minus 30, 30 uh, Celsius degrees. I have no idea what that, what that is in Fahrenheit. And look at this. Nice. Well, it is. The sun is shining. That is nice thing. But for all of you <laughs> who are uh, fighting or I don't know the exact word I'm looking for. Sorry about my bad English. But uh, we are challenged by not so optimal spring weathers here in polar circle, Arctic circle I mean. It's pretty much one meter of snow. Snow has come down. We have had constant snow on ground uh, for what five months and this still takes around two months to melt and then we have growing season for 90 days 90 days and those clumps you might see under the snow those are hugel culture beds, <laughs> pretty big, in fact, and they're far away. I don't know if I can zoom. Ah, I can zoom. That one is my one season extension bed. Uh, and believe or not, there is, uh, it is around 60 centimeters high and it is fully covered with snow and it has been fully covered with snow for six months and then we have compost uh, that is uh, insulated they said <laughs> that it will be it will stay uh, warm for whole winter but We have a thermometer here and this is basically one big solid block of ice. The whole continent, whole content of that compost. And it will melt, well it doesn't take two months but it will melt uh, around 
after one and a half months from here gradually so uh, the temperature will go over zero Celsius which is uh, the freezing point again I have no idea about Fahrenheit but this is our spring which is very nice I haven't started my spring <laughs> seeding yet I, I think you can figure out why and that is a lamppost in fact that is taller than me and there is a very small stump showing under the snow right now so I think I'm not sure but I think I will be sharing how our spring goes on and eventually and eventually I mean around in two months one and a half months when I can start <laughs> spring planting I will share that so thank you